Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial and in this video we are going to go over Touch ID. So how you can use your user's fingerprints in order to authenticate something within your app. So this is some powerful stuff and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use it in your app. So let's get started with this video on how to use Touch ID. So now we are going to take a look at Touch ID. And in order for us to do that, we have to create a new Xcode project. So let's do that. And I'm going to make this a single view application. I'm going to name it Touch ID. Then I'm going to click Next. And I'm going to save it on my desktop, just like that. Then I'm going to put it in full screen and I'm going to head straight over to the storyboard. And there I am going to drag in a button. So this is the button that we are going to press in order. For, uh, so this one, this button is going to activate uh, the Touch ID authentication. So when I click on that one, I'm going to be asked to uh, authenticate with my uh, fingerprint or touch or whatever you want to call it. So let's connect it with our view controller. So I'm just going to select the button. I'm going to control drag it in. I'm just going to call it action and make sure that it's an action because we want it to trigger a certain action, which is to bring up the question or to bring up, you know, that pop up that asks you to authenticate with your touch ID. So you will know how that looks uh, if you have used it before. If you haven't, you will see how that looks in two seconds. So I'm just going to focus now on the, um, on the view controller. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to import local authentication. So that's something that we are going to need in order to use Touch ID to authenticate anything that we want really. So now the next step is going to be to create a context. So it's going to be let context which is of type LA context. And this is an LA context. And then we are going to check if the user has touch ID. So if their device is touch ID enabled. And we do that by with a simple if statement. So we simply say if context, see if context dot can evaluate policy. And we just say dot device authentication with biometrics, which means uh, which is a fancy word for touch ID. And then error, I'm just going to say no, because that's not something that we're going to use right now. And if we are within this if statement, that means that the device is touch ID enabled. So now that we know that we are going to present the user with um, the touch ID or that login or, you know, that screen that asks for their fingerprint. So that we are going to do by simply saying context dot evaluate policy. And I believe it's this one. And the policy is LA policy dot device, just the same authentication with biometric. Localized reason is the message that's going to display when you ask for a touch ID. So I can simply say, we need your touch ID. Reply, I am going to leave that at nil, just like that. Or actually I am going to need it. So that was my mistake. Let's click here because this one is going to tell us if it was successful or not. And that's pretty, that's a good thing to know. So I'm going to say was successful and I'm going to call this error and then in here which means the user has now laid their finger upon and have um, registered their fingerprint and then we can say if was successful successful if that is equal to true then we know that the fingerprint was uh, authenticated. So it was the real fingerprint. It was a success. So we, we can then say print was a success. And if it wasn't, which means it was a wrong fingerprint, we can simply say print uh, not logged in. Just like that. So now we are going to try it by launching our app. 
So now I have launched my app and as you can see, you aren't able to see it. I tried it in the simulator, but that didn't work. So I had to launch it on my phone and I now click the button and you will just have to take my word for it, but it also stands here. I'm now being presented with a touch ID screen. I can now validate with my fingerprint and there we go. It printed was a success. So this is how you implement the touch ID. It's really not more complicated than this. It's all about first checking if the device is Touch ID compatible. If it is, then presenting the user with the Touch ID authentication. And if it succeeds, you do something, maybe do a segue. If it doesn't succeed, then you just show the user an error message. So it's really not harder than that. And hopefully you enjoyed this quick little video on Touch ID. If you did, make sure that you click the subscribe button so that you stay tuned for future videos. And thank you for watching.